Hello and welcome back to electrictv.net. I'm your host Dominic Giratano. Today we're talking about wine, specifically what happens when it goes from the vineyard to the bottle. Increasingly, the NECA IBEW team is being called upon all across the Napa Valley to install and maintain the complex systems that makes wine possible. It seems as if everywhere you look in the Napa Valley, there's a winery. The region is famous the world over for a few reasons, and increasingly just one grape. It's a combination of climate and soil. Uh, part of it is the proximity to both the Pacific Ocean and the San Francisco Bay. And then throughout the valley we have incredible variations of soils that allow uh, you to make uh, great wine, specifically Cabernet Sauvignon. The classic profile of a good cab tends to be full-bodied with high tannins. It's notably acidic, which contributes to its aging potential. And one of the region's best makers is Hall Wines. Each step along the way is really critical to making sure that that wine that ends up in the bottle is really expressing the very best of what came from the vineyard in which it was grown. Our winemaking facility is not dissimilar from a refinery, although with very sort of specific artistic techniques to it. And just like a refinery in which valves, pumps, seals and pipes all have to work the right way, this facility is no different. But the production facility combined with the new visitor center here at Hall Wines truly showcases the company's ability to perfectly blend not just its wine, but its business. What we really feel is an important part of winemaking is the experience. And with the combination of the floor to ceiling glass, uh, the views out to the vineyards and the mountains, the art that's throughout the facility, we wanted to, to create a place and experience and wines that people wouldn't forget. It opened for business in the spring of 2014 and is a sight to behold. Built by NECA contractor Napa Electric and IBEW Local 180. So sustainable is the facility that it's been recognized as the only LEED Gold certified winery in the state of California, not just the Napa Valley, by the U.S. Green Building Council. And just like a good cab has its classic profile, so too does the NECA IBEW team. Attention to safety, high productivity, installations that go in right the first time and always putting the customer first. Napa Electric worked with us on both phases of this project, one in 2007-8 and one more, more recently. They've done a great job and, and the most important thing when we are working with a contractor is that you know, it gets done in a timely way and that everything works. I think that Napa Electric or the IBEW is a competent way of building something. There's a lot more training involved for both, I would say, Napa Electric and IBEW. The first phase was production, grapes were coming in, and, and we also had an, a new crush pad with all new equipment. Completing that job successfully uh, gave us a first look at the next phase of project. It was a bit ground up project. We did a, for everything from PVC to we had MC to pipe work, EMT to aluminum. We did, we had our hands in pretty much everything to real high end lighting to deal with the tanks and the tank net and all that stuff. The tank net system, as Jacob just mentioned, is perhaps the most impressive aspect of winemaking here at Hall. A wireless thermostat and monitoring system that can control each tank individually and hold the fermenting wine at precise temperatures set by the winemaker. It also has a notification system if something were to go wrong out of the presets, essentially avoiding any costly inventory disasters. There's a lot of money uh, invested in our inventory and we have to make sure that everything works. Some of our best wines, one barrel of that wine might be worth thirty or $40,000. So if we, if we have something go wrong, you know, and you think we have six or 7,000 barrels at any one time, you know, you can do the math in your head.
the property open while we were still working here, so seeing the people that come and drink wine every day and how into it they are, it's, it's pretty fascinating. The fixtures in the tasting area were pretty complex. Most of it's LED. They have different drivers, different ways of dimming. Um, they have a couple lighting control panels that control levels and scenes, and all that had to be integrated through a couple different lighting control packages. You're not gonna make it is not accepted. I mean, we definitely are asked to do things and, and we don't have the option of saying no, we just have to figure out how to do it. The reality is the grapes are gonna get ripe and they have to come in and, and so the facility better be ready. And so, you know, meeting that schedule is of the utmost importance and everyone understands it and, and you need people that are, are, are able to do that and make sure it gets done. And, that's been our experience. That'll do it for this edition of Electric TV. Thanks for the click. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter for behind the scenes extras and more. From the Napa Valley, I'm Dominic Giratano. We'll see you next time.